Good afternoon, I am Mr. Ish. We are looking here at an essential video here, perhaps one of the most important or among the most important aspects of differential calculus is proving some of these easy derivative templates. You know we've looked at something like this a long time ago. Anytime you have a derivative of natural log ax where a can represent a coefficient, it always turns out as 1 over x in terms of the derivative. Very simply, if you had something like this, ln ax, and let u equals ax, and then you employed the chain rule, d over du, ln u, and then du over dx, ax, this will come out as 1 over u, and this here will come out as just an a, and then you'll have a over u. When you resubstitute the u item, which was this, you have a over ax, and you get 1 over x, which very easily shows that. In addition, anytime you have ln a x, you can use the properties of logarithms and separate it out as ln a plus ln x. And you know we were looking here in terms of the derivative. You could be applying the derivative to all of this. The derivative of a constant will always zero out and the derivative of ln x will just come out as 1 over x. And again, you end up with 1 over x. But here, these are just very easy ways of showing that this is equal to that. We have to prove why that is the case. And in the remainder of the video, we'll be using the, the laws of limits and the basic definition of derivative to very easily prove this derivative. The whole procedure begins as such. If f of x is equal to natural log ax and we have to find the derivative of this, you have to use the basic definition of derivative. And you know that employs a limit. Limit as h approaches 0, you have f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. We have to use this to prove that. And you know this right here is our basic function here in terms of what we're doing the derivative of. And then we proceed here and we continue onward. We'll have natural log a x plus h. This right here is that first part. Then minus natural log a x all over h. You could very well simplify this all. You'll have limit h approaching 0. You have ln ax plus ah minus ln ax all over h. Use the properties of natural logs. Anytime you're seeing up logarithms having the same common log base, you can bring them in as a quotient. Limit as h approaches 0, we're really looking at ln ax plus ah over ax. And you know we have this over h right here. You could isolate the a and you could literally cancel them out so the a disappears. So here we've actually solved the part where the a has disappeared. Now we just have to carry this through a limit as h approaches 0. When you're looking over here in just this part, we're really having x plus h over x, which you can simplify as 1 plus h over x. Think about it. Common denominator, right? This thing is equal to that. I want to bring this into the picture. I'm really looking at natural log 1 plus h over x all over h. We do a very essential substitution over here which will help bring everything home. If u is equal to h over x, you see this h over x, then h is equal to ux, right? If we're making a substitution u is equal to h over x, then we can solve for that h and take the x on the other side. We end up having two substitutions come out from one. We can rewrite everything over here. Let's do it. Limit. Now that we've substituted h is out of the picture, we bring in the u as u approaches 0. We have natural log 1 plus u all over h became ux. And it's not too hard to see all of this. This denominator can be pushed outside as a separated denominator. See, 1 over ux is exactly equal to all of this with over ux. We have a limit as u approaches 0, we have ln 1 plus u. So we've done all of this entire procedure and it has brought us to this point over here. We're not too far away from completion. Our procedure will continue from right over here and we'll bring it here on the top. We have a little bit of this symbol to show you that we're coming here. You can separate 1 over u x as 1 over u times 1 over x. And I'm only looking at this 1 over u component now. 1 over x will stay outside. 1 over x limit as u approaches 0. I have natural log 1 plus u to the power of 1 over u. How have I done this? It's using the properties of logs. Think about it. 
natural log a to the x is the same thing as saying x natural log a because this exponent can transfer between a coefficient and exponent position using the properties of natural log that's all i've done over here one or u transferred here as an exponent we have to essentially look at this single limit here this part right over here how can we look at that you could have even rewritten this entire expression as this and i'll write it but then i'll erase it i have one or x natural log i have limit as u approaches zero you see i've brought the limit from outside inside and then i'm really looking at one plus u to the power of one over u so we're really looking at this part right over here let's erase this and evaluate the specific limit over here if you evaluate this right here one plus u to the power of one over u as u approaches zero you'll easily get a value over here equal to e Think about it, if you put 0 0.001 either from the right or minus 0 0.001 either from the left of the value 0 and you plug them right over here, this will always equal to E. You will just work that into your calculator and you'll realize what I'm telling you here is right. Everything here will then become 1 or x limit as u approaches 0, L and E, which is just a 1, and then you end up with this final end result, which is what we wanted. Again. I'm using here limit approximation of positive 0 0.001 and minus 0 0.001 here in places of these u's. When you do that, you'll easily get a value of e. You can check that for yourself on the calculator and it will be right. And there it is. The proof of the natural log ax is always equal to 1 or x. Now remember, this right here is but one way of proving it. There's another way of proving it using exactly a similar procedure right perhaps up to this point here where you can use the Le Hopital's rule procedure. Think about it. If you were to put zero here in places of h, you'll get an indeterminate form of zero over zero. You'll have one plus zero, which is natural log of one over zero. Natural log of one is a zero. Zero over zero is an indeterminate form in which you would use the Le Hopital's rule procedure into this expression right here. Derivative of the numerator with regards to h, derivative of the denominator with regards to h, and as a result of that entire procedure, you will also get 1 over x. You can try that out on your own if you want. But this right here is a, in a very acceptable derivative derivation procedure for the natural log ax derivative. And I have shown it to you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.